Richard Sherwin in England. Good morning. So how do you design a counter melody? I okay. mean, you just whip one off. How, what do you think about? <laughs> what I think about is what the, the chord structure is. Yeah. I, I'm not thinking of the melody. I'm thinking of the chord structure of the song. And then it might be some simple scales. Uh, a C major scale or the C pentatonic scale on the C chord. When it goes to the A flat 7, same thing. I'm thinking of the A flat pentatonic scale with the added flat 7 tone for that pentatonic scale. Five. Yes, so in C it would be 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6. Those are the tones of the pentatonic scale. When we add um, for a 7th chord, then I'm going to play the 1, 3, 5, 6, and the flatted 7 tone of that scale. C, D, E, G, and B flat. I don't like this. I've got better ones I've been because I really do sort of like the feel of it. But some of it is what your attitude towards the song mm -hmm. is. How you let the song affect you and then you let mm -hmm. your, you know, you've got a bright personality. You can make that bright personality come out through your mm -hmm. fingers, you know, and, and, and make the banjo come to life mm -hmm. that way. I can feel it, but I can go, jing, jing, I can, I can hear the sort of things in my head when I want to put them in and stuff. Well, there you go. Know, hearing it in your head first mm. Mm. Is, is a big part of the battle of getting it back out mm. through your fingers. Yeah. And, you know, if, you can, if, if it's in your head, it can come out through your hands. Mm. Uh, instead of doing it here, get, try and get it up here. This chord here. Yes. Move it up and inside so that you've got... All, all of that fast stuff, all in the same area of the neck. And then you're right in the right position to start that. So you have... And then you go to... There you go. And then try and keep the next one up in there too. I'm pretty sure that's what he's doing just from listening to it, but... It sounds good. Part of playing improvisation also is knowing how to manipulate those scales to fit the situation you're in. Uh, sometimes I will tie two of the notes together, like the E and the G, both part of the pentatonic scale, but the F and the F sharp are not, but I'll lead from one to the other using those two notes, even though that note and this note on their own are very discordant to the scale and to that chord when playing. When played as leading tones, they work fine. You know, a, a C sharp note is not part of a part of the, the scale either. But as a leading tone, it works fine. So I'm yeah. going D C sharp C and in that kind of a situation you can get almost any note to work but it's how you manipulate the scale around those notes so that they do uh, work for you. Well you've got some that are tied from one to another is it just a matter of trying to obviously seamlessly join those to, to get like you would be a, tie, a normal tie with a tremolo or whatever. Or... Yeah well you know that that's the that's the idea is to, to mm. tie them try and tie them together. Mm. The one that I'm looking at is third line down, the G6 to the D minor 7. Yeah, yeah. Is what I'm doing there. By not tremoloing is how I'm yeah. tying tied notes together by doing little rhythmical things. To try to yeah. tremolo that, you can't help but make it a little bit choppy because we're, yeah, we're changing, that's what I've been, uh, yeah, we're changing yeah. chord forms there. What I do to mask 
and, and that's the word I'm going to use. To mask, I'm going to do it rhythmically. And then I can, you know, I've got some rest in there. It kind of seems like you need that one note in there. Okay, let's bring that note up on the next string down, seven frets up. Okay. There, there it is. So in that one, you're still doing a larger jump, but you're not having to hit that formation right there. Right. That is, that is a pretty tough one. <laughs> High speed. But, oh yeah, absolutely. Even if you just hit not three notes, but two notes. It's still, it, yeah, it still infers the chord. Do it that way, and then you're not, you, you want to avoid those big jumps. Mm -hmm. So, and anytime you've got something down low on the neck, you can find it up and inside. Pretty much the same thing. Yeah, we're losing the outside string, but you're getting the same chord, and you're getting it easier, and then the whole, the whole thing gels better so that you get the flow of the song working a whole lot better. Okay. The more knowledge you have of these scales, the easier it then becomes to create a counter melody. The more you do it, the better you get at it. You are a very supportive uh, individual, but sometimes it comes home to me how, uh, how much there is to learn. Uh, and Music isn't just in either, it's not just mm -hmm. a part of the head or a part of the hands. Playing a song is your whole body, it's your whole mm -hmm. personality that, that mm -hmm. goes into into making a song come out of the instrument. It's part of your soul and mm -hmm. everything you've got. Play your ending. Let me hear you play yours.